What is up, peeps? It's Follow in TCG, and I'd like talking you back to another YouTube video. And today we're going to be playing, of course, Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. And we have a deck that's been gaining a little bit of traction recently. Now, it is Regigigas, but uh, I think people started to kind of realize, hang on, Regigigas is a basic Pokemon with an ability. Now, what Pokemon shuts off basic Pokemon ability? Haha. -ha. Muck. So there's actually a way now we can play Regigigas and hit Giant Stomp for 160 every single turn without having to have Regibot, Regiice, Registeel or Regice um, in play. So people start to really take a look at that now. And the one um, I've kind of taken a look at myself is Malamar. Um, and I kind of first thought of this idea when it came from um, Gross Meta on Twitter who um, posted uh, screenshots of it. And I was like, hang on, wait, what? I was like, how could he attack Regigigas? And I saw the muck and I was like, oh my God. So I asked him uh, for permission to, to, to try it out. Um, so I'm showing it to you now on the channel because he said, go ahead, which is great. Um, so I'm going to be showing you Regigigas and just, um, I'm just letting you know, that's where I got the idea from. I don't know if he was the one who came up with the idea of Regigigas, but that's where I saw it. So that's where I'm going to uh, play my credit. Now, um, there's so many types of ways to play it. It is a, um, a, a basic colorless Pokemon. So... It can use any sort of energy acceleration uh, you know, in the game. It can use Malamar, it can use Kiawe, it can use Vikavolt if you want to. There's so many ways to play it with that in mind. Um, and I think most people are resulting to Malamar because Malamar is extremely consistent and it's not too hard to set up. Um, so I'm trying Malamar. However, I do want to maybe potentially try a Kiawe variant where we play Kiawe. We can even play like the Makago acceleration engine with like a Makago and a Makago GX where we can get double attachment per turn um, and with the use of DCE. Like there's so many so many creative options with Regigigas that Regigigas is potentially a very good card. Hitting 160 every turn without any sort of downfall is, is, is incredible. Um, although there is the one downfall of discarding an, uh, a stadium so you can't actually play it with Shrine of Punishment which is like what you'd want to do. Obviously it's a, a basic non-gx pokemon you'd love to go for a shrine but um unfortunately you can't do that because it discards the stadium in play but the great thing about that is if you can't play shrine you can play gx pokemon with it now just to be a bit um just to have that option is great it allows you to play tapu lele which unfortunately we got in the active first which is like the last thing we want to do um but with me it's like really hard to kind of figure out what's most ideal yeah so now i'm drinking water from mcdonald's cup Shush. <laughs> um but yeah, um, it's like there's so many options that it's just like mind boggling. You're like, what is actually the best way to do it? Like you can use choice fans, there's wishful batons and uh, just so many ways to play it. I think I've, I've done, I've gone for two wishful baton and one choice ban. The thing is a choice ban is having the potential to hit 190 is great because you knock out a ton of GX Pokemon, especially Buzzwell GX, which will be the biggest counter, right? If you can one shot that, that's great. Um, so you kind of have to sit there and go, well, what's more important? The energy that I, I'm trying my best to keep in play or the, 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 the damage buff. And it's like, well, it's a bit of both, really. So you kind of have to figure out what's important. But the great thing about Regigigas is that you, um, you are pretty much mostly going to be two-shotting because you're a, 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 a non-GX Pokemon with 180 HP. Like, uh, that's amazing. Hitting 160 damage on a basic Pokemon that's 180 HP. Um, with that being a possibility then yeah of course it's good it's definitely going to be good um i think it's just kind of people figuring out hang on we can shut off regigigas ability now the issue of playing this deck is that all they have to do is take down the muck and if you have no way of getting it back into play your your deck has shut down um which is a bit of a problem right so you always want to be careful there so i'm actually going to oh i'd love to goose my but i need to i need to cynthia so I'm going to discard these two because everything else is extra valuable. And we're going to start setting up the in case first. Um, and just go. I don't want to attach a DCE to the active. I want to Cynthia. I need to save those DCEs for the uh, Regigigas. Uh, oh, we even have a switch, which is pretty good. Um, I don't mind attaching an energy to this Lele. Like the just a basic psychic energy. I don't mind that. Uh, I'm trying to just map out what would be good here. We could get another Lele. But that seems rough, man. We might have to. I want to Ultra Ball the switch, right? No, they could, they could, they could definitely attack me next turn with Dawn Wings, and that's kind of rough. So I think Energy and Choice Band. That's what I'm thinking, and we get the Grime out. 
And the great thing is, is this grimer actually shuts off um, Dormings. And I did just, I'm such an idiot. I just realized that our own mark is going to shut off our own Lele's. So if we play Lele, we have to like play it before we get the muck into play. Which is a bit weird. But we have a ton of discards. We have Acro Bikes, Ultra Balls, Mysterious Treasure. Like if we don't need the Lele, we can discard it. So I'm fine with that. But I don't know. On second thought, I might cut out the Lele. Because it's kind of pointless at that point. It's just a liability. So maybe we cut it out. That might be the best thing to do. Huh. Thinking about it now. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. We could just add some more draw supporters. That might be ideal. Now, I, I tried playing this with Zev Striker in it, and it worked. But so many times, I almost decked out before even taking like two, uh, two, two to four prizes. Um, and that was really rough. It was really hard to play the game when like you're almost decking yourself out before you actually... Um, have they got it going? Have they got another one? Oh, they're, yeah, lucky us. Right, so what I can do is I can actually grab a Lele now. Um, which I don't want two Lele in play. That's really bad, but I have to. And we play the Lele, and then we get the supporter, and then we play the Muck. That's what we do. We get a Lily because we have a fresh hand anyway. So we do play Kakui. I think we play two if I'm right. Um, sorry if I'm a bit quiet. I'm like, I've got a killer headache right now. <laughs> um... Don't know what it is, but I think I'm just getting ill. Uh, all right, Acrobike, come on, give me a Rich Gigas. That's rough. That's super rough. Um, that's really bad. That's bad. That's really bad. That's a really bad setup. A really bad setup. <sighs> yep. At least they can't invasion, which is good. Is it called invasion? Yeah, they can't invasion, which is good news. So they have to either attach or get an escape board to be able to... Or Guzma. They can Guzma. Which they're not going to do, which is fine by me, actually. Thinking about it. But having this, like, two turns gone, or three turns, if I'm... No, two turns gone with... Out, getting a Red Gigas out, or any energy down, is, like, really bad. Um... I think I play so much options that you'd think you'd find one, right? Oh, that's rough. I think getting another Inkay is actually better. Um, and we just have to go for a Cynthia again and just hope we hit uh, a Regigigas. Ugh, Regigigas. We do. Ah, that's good news. Uh, and we can actually get ourselves a... Ma I'm going to put the, bat the baton on it. Get ourselves a Malamar. It's going to be the active one, I'm afraid. But that's fine by me. Because we have Guzma. If we draw like a DCE next turn, then we've got a we've got a play. So that's good. That's really good to hear. So the baton's like really it is really good to have. Um, and the thing is, you, you, as I said, you're pretty much going to be two shotting um, anything, uh, one shotting a lot of stuff like um, stage twos. You're probably going to be like non GX stage twos. You'll be one shotting or, but you won't be one shotting any GX Pokemon unfortunately, unless it's like Marshadow GX or the new Dene GX that's coming out soon. That's the only time you'd be one-shotting GXs without a choice band. Um, but even then, two-shotting is fine. You have 180 HP. You know, there's Pokemon with lower HP and lower damage that are just as good. So I am not going to complain. I think that having the baton is just useful. Okay, that's good. So we didn't draw a DCE, I'm afraid. So what I'm going to do is just keep this Malamar here. And then next turn, this Regigigas is ready to go, which is good. And there's no way they're knocking it out, which is fantastic. I do need to be careful of the Moon's Eclipse GX, which is a bit rough, because they can pretty much do it as soon as I KO them with the Regigigas. So if I'm going for a KO, I need to be ready. Um, oh, they're just going to go in themselves. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, that's a bit rough. We actually need to draw an energy now. You know, that's very tough thinking about it and the funny thing is we now have a wish for baton that's not even gonna hit our oh, dce do you know what? i'll take that or do i they can't invasion here's what i'm thinking i think i attach dce to the malamar to retreat it um and then we go for the guzma and just attack into this storm wings which needs to be charged up and they can't invasion to get it out of the active and that way we can get a few more turns with the reggie gigas um 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that play. It's a bit of a weird one. I don't like retreating with a DCE. Um, but this is the format we're in, right? There's no float stones. So uh, please reprint float stone, please. There are so many plays that people could make because of that. Um, all right, let's just let's just do this. I might just leave it at that. And I mean, to be fair, we can, if we really want to, attack with muck, which is like not ideal. If I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, and that's even better. We discarded the altar of the moon, so they can't even attach energy retreat. They have to, um, they have to like either stick it in the active or find an altar of the moon, which is possible if they play Act Four. Oh, they did the Tate and Liza switch, and they got the altar of the moon. I mean, they didn't even need it. That's all right. We'll come in with uh, what Lele, maybe. Yeah, but uh, attacking with Lele seems rough, man. Seems hella rough. And if we KO them, we actually go ahead in prizes. So that's also bad. We could muck it, but then that's pointless. Screw it, we're on the Lele. <laughs> we need another Reggie Gigas. I should not have benched this. But this is, okay, I'm definitely cutting Lele because Lele is taking valuable bench space as well. So we'll promote this. It's got free retreats, so why not? Oh, this is so rough. Oh, this is so rough. Okay, no, don't bench that, you nut job. Um, I'm going to put an energy onto my Malamar just to give it free retreat. It's considering this energy is in play and we can just... Oh, I just did Tapu Cure. I'm... No, I misclicked. We're not doing this. We're getting rid of Lele. <laughs> no, this is not happening. This is not happening. I did not accidentally just Tapu Cure GX. I am so stupid. All right, we'll just go for a uh, power pad, I guess, to throw in some extra consistency there. And I think a Tate and Liza, maybe. I really like the Kukui because the Kukui can just make you hit a raw 180, which can KO some stuff. I think Tate and Liza, just to give us the extra switch option, maybe. Or do we get another Kukui? No, no, we'll do this. We'll stick with this. We'll stick with this. We'll roll with it. It feels a bit weird playing like two one-off supporters that aren't that great. Um, but we'll roll with it. I know we could do Sightseer, but again, I'm very, very strict on Sightseer. It's like if you want it to be good, you've got to discard your whole hand. You have to. Because drawing four, you might as well do Sophocles. Or if you're drawing three, you might as well do How. So at that point, if you're playing a Sightseer, just discard everything um, if you want it to be good. Other than that, it's not really that good. So you've got to treat it like a mini sycamore, right? Um, okay, this is a lot more promising, actually. Yeah, yeah, this is a lot more promising. Awkward thing is, though, is we can't really accelerate with Malamod to the active Regigigas, which is a bit rough. So it's a bit of a tough one, to be fair. I mean, you could have a wacky version of this deck where you have the... Um, what's it called? What's the Pokemon called? Oh... <laughs> Lunala GX, yeah, I'm definitely getting ill. There's definitely something wrong with me. Uh, Lunala GX, where you can move the energy around. Like, you could do that, something wacky there. Speaking of Lunala GX, I might make a deck on that soon. Um, it sounds fun. It sounds like it worked with Malamar pretty nicely. Um, okay, first things first, Acrobike. Lily. Yeah, definitely Lily. Hands down. And let me Ultra Ball the energy away. Yeah, and then we get a Grimer. Grimer's more important. We need to muck out like ASAP. We're playing Zorak by the looks of it, which is kind of good because we do, we we're pretty good against Zorak. Um, oh yeah, very glad I chose the Grimer there. And we get another Acro Bike. We have a draw supporter in our hand, so I can comfortably play this Acro Bike. <laughs> yeah, we're taking that. <laughs> Hundred percent. We could actually go for a crazy switch play, like we could evolve into the Malamar. Um, accelerate, switch to accelerate, and then Guzma, and then just like get a KO, which seems really cool. So we have a play next turn actually with this hand. This is a very good hand. Hopefully they don't judge. I know Zorak plays judge, and I know that I know this deck. This is the okay, good. Well, I say good, but they're getting their ideal turn one supporter. That full art is awesome, by the way. Absolutely awesome. I love the syndical there as well. Um, oh yeah, we're definitely getting them up. We're gonna shut that ditto off. You ain't you ain't having ditto. No, that ain't happening, mate. Um. But yeah, I know what I'm playing against. It's Zorak Ninetales, um, and it plays a bunch of tech stuff, which is cool. So I know this plays a Weavile, and that's kind of scary. So let's um, think first. Malamar. Uh, DCE. Uh, my biggest threat is the Lycanroc, so I'm going to actually Guzma and take out the Rockruff. That's what I'm going to 
do for certain. We're going to Mysterious Treasure Way the Psychic. And we're going to get another ink. Hey, I think that's why are you mad at me? I'm not I'm only playing. Oh, he's got it scooped. <laughs> okay. Damn, that's such a shame. The first game is like, oh, well, we flopped. We did everything wrong. And the second game is like, everything's going right. And then they scoop. It is a bit frustrating. Like, okay, it's good to get the win. But when you're like, you're teeing off, you don't want them to just scoop up. You know, especially in versus. I mean, in a tournament, by all means, if someone scoops up, you're like, yes, that's a, that's a win on the board, right? But when it's versus and stuff, you're just like, oh, come on, play the game through. I know it's not going well, but you could, well, say that. I did just scoop a game myself, so I can't really... uh be a hypocrite there, can I? <laughs> but he, he was not happy because I shut off his ditto and I was, and I was able to like get, get things going. That's a shame. That would have been a great turn. All right. Anyway, a good deck is a consistent one. So hopefully we get a, uh, a good turn here if this is a consistent deck. But it seems to be all right so far after taking out the Leleys. I was just really paranoid at um, <clears throat> not playing Zev Striker. Um, and not having some sort of draw option. Oh, maybe we could play Marshadow, but that just seems like, again, just another bench space. Um, let's drop down a Grimer. Now, I think I'm just going to attach the... Yeah, I'm just going to attach this energy, and I'm going to put it in the active. It can take some damage. I don't really mind too much. Actually, I think that was a misplay, because I can't accelerate it to it now. To it now so, use your brain, Sean. Use your noggin. Right, we're going to pass, because we can... Mysterious Treasure and Ultra Ball to get ourselves the Grime, the, the Malamar and the Muck. So we can get them going, which is good news. But yeah, always always be wary. Now, I did initially think to play Ditto Prism Star, but we shut it off with the Muck. <laughs> which is a shame because like it's, it's really awkward once your Muck gets KO'd and you don't have a Grimer on the bench. Which is very unlikely. You're, it's very unlikely for you to have a Grimer on the bench because um, I thought it's a bit rough. Now, uh, Gross Meta was actually playing a... Or Gross Meta. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I, I always get paranoid about that. But um, he was playing Tapu Koko in his list, which I kind of like because you can actually cover that 20 damage that you need to hit 180 on a GX. So it helps you hit big numbers and it gives you a free retreat option, right? But it just... For me, the reason I didn't play it is because it just takes a bench spot and bench space is like super important in this deck. Like it's critical. Um, okay, I'm not going to play Kukui. That's for certain. Get rid of the NK. Got enough NKs out on the board. And we grab a Malamar here. Ah, uh, we need the Kukui for that though, don't we? I don't want to get rid of the Kukui, but I don't want to get rid of the Rescue Stretcher. Um, I'm going to have to get rid of Kukui and Cynthia because this, this, we played Power Pad, right? I put in a Power Pad. Yeah, so we can get the Kukui back. That's good news. Uh, and get the Grimer. So get the Muck. And then go for the Cynthia. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm good with that. Which is great because we can actually attack this because look, we'll prevent all damage done by... Oh, that's perfect. That would have failed. Imagine. Imagine if we weren't, if this wasn't a Muck deck and it was normal type. Like, we would just not get the Necrozma ever. Which is quite funny thinking about it. Is this a Lunala GX deck? Oh my god, I like this. This is what I was actually thinking of doing. Um, although, to be fair... Well, is Malamar better or not? But what this guy is doing, and I like this. I really like this. It's just, I hope, I kind of hope it works out for them because I want to see this. But he's doing Lunala GX with Naganadal because um, Lunala can move energy around and Naganadal can bring it back into play. And the benefit of Naganadal over Malamar is Naganadal has one retreat cost. It has a better attack. Um, so it's a lot better than Malamar for sure when it comes to being able to move energy around. So... And he's filching as well, so he's taking his time. I really actually want to see this deck unfold because I'm 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 fascinated. I really am. Um, and this is probably what I'm really going to bring you tomorrow. I'm probably going to get a Lunala GX deck with like a load of Nine Tails, and I'll probably figure out some sort of list, right? So I'm excited because this is pretty much representing what I want to build. Um, our DCE right now would be like fantastic. So why don't we just discard this and a Guzma, I guess, and just get another Malamar. Like we, we want a DCE, like, now. Like, I don't mind taking out this Mimikyu. Like, they're going to need to do a hell of a lot to get a one-hit KO on us, so... Speaking of, we need to accelerate to another Regi Gigas soon because we are going to go down at some point. Um, I oh, 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 That's a bit rough. Okay, that is a bit rough. That is a bit rough. I mean, I don't mind just accelerating one energy here to a Malamar just to give it retreat. That's fine with me. 
Uh, we're just we're just here not attacking. We're just going to pass. They could go for another filter. They could actually retreat, but they haven't really got everything into play. So now, is this better than Malamar Krosma? Probably not, um, because Malamar is just so much easier to get out, and it just does what it needs so well. Um, especially with that stadium, I think this I think the stadium is a bit underrated. Um, because the way the classic Necrozma Malamar worked was to attack and then you come in with the Dawn Wings and then you retreat the Dawn Wings after accelerating all the energy back onto it and it's just a loop, right, of constant one-hit KOs. But, um, oh, Whitney. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about Whitney. Maybe if we're playing it in like a, um, what's the deck? Bennett. I think Bennett probably works the best in my opinion. Because you're going to discard it and then you can just play like some really good ones. Okay. Uh... <laughs> okay, I'm not going to attach DCE, obviously. I'm going to attach this energy. I really want to like hit into that thing first. And we, we... There's no way we can Guzma and Retreat, is there, unfortunately? No, because that would take our energy attachment for turn. So we're going to do this. And we're going to hope that we hit a Regigigas here, which we do. Fantastic. Uh, we can Power Pad. I want the Kukui back. That's for certain. I want the Kukui and a Cynthia. Because we've pretty much played all our Cynthias. So, a bit of longevity there. And we actually discard their stadium, which is good news. And this is the great thing about Ruji Gigas. We're like, we're in a stadium meta. As I said, I made a video on it ages ago. But we are like 100% in a stadium meta. Where stadiums are almost in every deck. And there's like a, a lot of them. I remember when stadiums wasn't even that big a deal. You know, like the only stadiums you saw play pre-rotation was Brooklyn Hill and like... Um, Parallel City, really. Um, other, anything other than that, there's many stadiums. There's many decks that just didn't even play a stadium. But it's like most decks now are playing stadiums, which is quite quite interesting. It's quite interesting. Um, but I like it because it's another component to the game and it's being fully utilized finally. But um, I think it's just because of the cards that were played before. Like this wasn't being played because we had Floatstone. We didn't need that. But now we do. Okay, that's kind of good news actually. Um, the fact that they retreated there. That's really good news. <laughs> Cosmo and Mar, they don't even have the rare candy, see? A bit rough. A bit rough. It is a bit rough if I do see so myself. But this could be like a similar to a Malamar box. Just have a bunch of psychic Pokemon that can just do stuff, right? But um Mine, if you go if you're going down this road, you're probably better off just doing Quagsire and Aconado, right? Because Quagsire's got a very similar thing. Obviously, you can't move it around as well. But the great thing about Lunology X, and this is why I kind of want to look at Lunology X now, is although it's weak to Dark, which is very bad, like Zorak will just destroy it, um, you can move energy around. So if you aren't being, you know, KO'd by Zorak, <laughs> you can actually move energy off Max Potion and move it back on without having to do any sort of weird retreat, which is really cool. Um, I really want a Guzma. Yeah, got a Guzma. We have to Guzma, and I'm like, my greedy brain is saying attack this, but I think we should take this down. Like, I really think we should. Like, get rid of the uh, the energy source, right? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Let's let's play intelligently. He says, as he's probably gonna lose the game. Yeah, <laughs> I'm intelligent. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, I'm stupid. I could have just attached a DC to it. I forgot the stadium was in play. I thought I was gonna lose the energy and be able to accelerate them both onto Ready Gigas, but. The stadium was active. Whoopsie. Oh, well. That's fine. We're good. We're, ro we're rolling with it, man. Like, we're just... We're, oh. Reggie Gigas is now good. Like, when did you think you'd ever say that? It's actually good right now. I mean, the one thing that would kill this is Field Blower. That's for sure. <laughs> A Field Blower would um, absolutely destroy this. But uh, Field Blower's not seeing much play, if I'm correct. I don't think it's seeing any play at all, really, in any main decks. Is it? I'm trying to think of any recent lists, if there's any field blowers, and I don't think so. Thinking about it. Could be wrong. I could be so wrong. I could be very wrong. Oh, my hair's gone crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, I honestly don't know. Oh, no! I called it! What's wrong with me? <laughs> God damn it. I just done and called it, didn't I? God damn it. He just needs a, a Naganado and an option to retreat, and that's pretty much it. Oh my god, he can copycat. No. Well, did I knock something over? It's okay. We're not going to get KO'd by it. So we got another turn to just, uh, you know, <laughs> figure this out. <laughs> like, no. We need to find another wish on. 
So maybe, yeah, maybe three with Shuffle Ton. I mean, it looks like the, the choice band really isn't that big a deal. I guess. I don't know. This is why I'm not too big a fan of a Shuffle Ton. Like, relying on... I don't know. It's just a bit weird. Relying on a tool card to, to keep energy into place. It, like, it's so easily removed. It's just a bit rough. It's a bit... A bit tough. Wow, they didn't copycat. Okay, okay. They just given me an extra turn of energy attachment. I like. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, probably get another Malamar. I'm like, this is this looks silly. It does, but like for real, another Malamar. Yeah, definitely. If we're not being able to use our wishful batons, yeah, we are going to be needing three Malamar into play just to have a chance here. So. Let's uh, let's be let's be again realistic. Next turn we just have the DCE, and then we've got another Regigigas, Regigigas ready to go. So I am fine. Okay, we're not. <laughs> it's not game over just yet, and we did get a draw support from there as well, which is good news. Kind of great, yeah, because we are we are dead drawing, but we we set up before the dead draw, which is good. It's kind of like it. it Malamar's always like that. As long as you set it up, it just rolls on its own. You don't really need too much going on in your hand. Um. Ah, oh, fantastic stuff. Okay, this is like, this is great. This is great. This is wonderful. We're just going to go in with Tate and Liza then and just uh, shuffle draw and see if we can just pull some extra bonus bits, I think. But, I mean, like, like what more do you want? We've got the Kakui and we've got the Wishful. The, no, we're going to hold off the Wishful Baton for now. We don't need it now. Although, tell a lie. Putting it on this one really won't do anything. It'll only bring one energy back. We'll put it on this. Why not? And the great thing is, is that we um, have the Kukui, which we power padded back into the deck. So whenever they bring this thing up, we can actually one hit KO it, which is really good news. So I'm kind of happy about that. So yeah, I mean, this, <laughs> uh, to be fair, we are playing against an experimental deck. So this is not the best representation of Regigigas. You know, it's like, play it against a Zorok. Then you probably know if it's good or not. But I mean, just, it's got the recipe for a good deck. And I'm uh, really excited to see where this goes. If someone, you know, takes it further. If anyone actually tries Regigigas at a tournament and manages to get it far, that'd be awesome. It'd be an awesome thing to see. Right, yeah, come on. Blow up whatever you want to blow up. It's fine. I've got the Kukui and it's game over. So go for it, mate. Go for it. Oh, no! The muck! <laughs> it's okay. I've got a Grimer in my hand. I don't mind. I don't mind going a turn without attacking. In fact, <laughs> no. Don't tell me we, we, we can get a KO with Malamar here. Don't. We can't. We need a choice band. We can potentially, okay? If we find the choice band, we can Malamar our way to victory. <laughs> oh, no, that's hilarious. Okay. Um, I need to think. We need to Mysterious Treasure to thin. Is, is, the, is the choice band in deck? It is. It's in deck. Do, do, you, do you believe in me? We have three potential, well, four potential pulls here. Acrobike. Okay, we get get the Ultra Ball, I guess. No, the Guzma. Yeah, the Guzma. And then we got... Kukui? Come on. Oh! It's not done yet! One more! Ah, that's a shame. That's a shame. Imagine if we got the Choice Band. You know, some things just aren't meant to be. But that's perfectly fine. We can go for the Psychic Sphere. And uh, we can KO that next turn. Oh, imagine. Imagine if we got the choice band. Imagine willing with a Malamar <laughs> of all things. But now you are seeing the deck's greatest weakness is just no mark, no play. It's that simple. Oh, Max Potion. God damn it. Oh, no, that's a shame. We can't even like one hit KO it now with a Regigigas unless we get that good old choice band. Now, what does this do? Knock out one of the Pokemon that isn't a... GX. Wow, they could just KO one of my Regigigases. Like, damn, that's for real good. No, <laughs> they're catching up. Please, no. <laughs> Let me, uh. Okay, so they got two energy onto this Necrozma now. But if we just find a choice band, we get, a, we, we win. So, like, I don't know what I'm, I'm done what I'm saying. Like, we just get another win anyway. So let's attach here just to increase the odds. Do we win? Yeah, we win. Perfect maths. No! You're kidding me! That's fine. We'll go with Regigigas. <laughs> we'll just retreat. I mean, why not? Right? Why not? I mean, we might as well accelerate onto... Like, we can attack with the Muck, and the Muck at least would guarantee a KO, so... 
we don't have to rely on Malamar doing the, the, the big damage because we do 90, which is 180 in total. Oh, if we had like one more energy, did I attach an energy in the wrong place? Did I make a misplay? I hope I didn't because if I was able to get one more energy on that, I actually would have won. That's fine. Giant stop. There we go. You could take this thing out, but mate, it's game over, man. Even if you take out the... Wait, no, taking out the muck actually would be kind of... No, no, that'd be fine. Yeah, regardless, whatever they take out, we've got game. So, like, I don't mind. All right, yeah, we've got game. Uh, we just manually retreat. No, we need, we need an energy. Okay, we need an energy. <laughs> God, we're always needing something. Well, actually, tell a lie, we need a choice band. So many options. We just need a choice band because we can just attach choice band to this and manually retreat this Reggie gas. Like, that's fine. It would give us game. Yeah. But we need to, like... Really, four cards, and we just need the choice band for game. Come on. Give me the choice band. Give me the choice band. I have to, like, proper thin down my hand. I'm thinking. Yeah. We really have to thin down our hand to be able to draw into it. But I think we can. I think we can. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm going to be honest with you. I think we're good. Yeah. Maybe I dropped these three energy ons like a Malamar, but that just seems stupid. But at least this deck is like holding itself, you know? It's like right now we need a card and we're a bit stuck, but we're still like holding ourselves. Are they going to try and trap me? Okay. They're not going to try. They're going to go for the, the muck. Um... That's fine. A choice ban will still give us the game. So that's fine by me. Yeah, that's fine. Because we can, we can just choice ban the Malamar and then that's okay. So I, I don't mind. So yeah, the deck has a very, very big what if, you know? It's like, well, what if the muck goes down as well? Game over. <laughs> so maybe maybe tech in like another Pokemon. I think that might be a good idea. So maybe like a, a Deoxys or something, you know? All right, we only need three cards. So, I mean, if we're going to be real here, we've won. So, uh, let's not forget to accelerate. Yeah, there we go. All right, good game. Good stuff. Good stuff. I am uh, proud of this community. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, let's actually do this. Let's go for the switch. And then we go for Lily for two. And then we go for well played. You have a good deck. He does have a good deck. I'm very intrigued by it. And then we go for Psychic Sphere for KO. Sweet. Ah, sweet victory. That one paid off for sure. We definitely got a good head start. Um, and we managed to take the win. And we got a free pack. I mean, why not? Let's let's open the pack. Let's go for it. I mean, we've been recording for like half an hour as it is. So let's just... Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go and see what we pour off the Forbidden Light pack. All right. Maybe something nice and sweet. Is I was about to say, is Rayquaza Forbidden Light? No, he's Celestial Storm, isn't he? Forbidden Light's old now. Oh, my God. I remember when it was new. Uh, nah, nothing special. Oh, well, win some, lose some, and we did win that game. Let me show you the deck list I have. I would recommend probably throwing another Pokemon you can attack with, like, uh, you know, take Gross Meta's um, example and use uh, Coco or maybe like a Deoxys so you can at least attack if the muck goes down. But we managed to hold our own. Here it is. This will be in my Discord server, and I'll also link in the description as well if you do want to try this list out and get the actual list that you can export into, or import, sorry, into PTCGO. Um, but other than that, if you did like this video, do uh, leave a like, and of course, subscribe. Other than that, though, I'll see you tomorrow. Do have a good day. Peace.